uh, boy is it a lot of elbowing going on everyone trying to get their hands on the candidates and their supporters and responding to what we saw tonight we've got now with us mr. Shaheen here you were in the room can you give me an idea of if there were any palpable feelings in the room oh clearly there were you know just a comparison of the three candidates really gives you a lot listening to Hillary Clinton and uh, Bernie Sanders it was really kind of like listening to your grandparents sit around the table when they're cranky and they're arguing <laughs> listening to Martin O'Malley for me really gave me an image of what we could be moving into the future a much more positive image uh, a discussion about real issues and and really the future so I felt I walked out of there thinking you know there are a couple of candidates up here who represent the past uh, for the country and the Democratic Party and there's one candidate there who I think can lead us toward the future I spoke with him a couple of minutes ago he didn't feel like he got the opportunity to say everything he wanted to say did you get the impression that he was kind of edged out of there a little bit I'm sure he would have liked to have talked the whole two hours but the truth is I think in a way the fact that the other two just talked and talked and talked highlighted the fact uh, that Governor O'Malley is not just a talker but a doer and if there's one thing I know we need in this country right now it's a doer you know when he was the mayor of Baltimore and the governor of Maryland he didn't hesitate to roll up his sleeves literally and get out in the street to fix problems if they were there there. Um, you compare that to having two candidates who've literally talked their whole lives away. Uh, you really get a, an idea of what we could do if we had somebody who was going to roll up their sleeves and get stuff done. One of the things I heard you say earlier in an MB, uh, NBC interview was that there couldn't be a lot of the backbiting and the nastiness that we saw when the Republicans were debating. It seemed like everyone stayed pretty nice. What was your what was your feeling in the room? You know, I am proud of that. The Republican Party over the last 10 years has really become a party of hate and fear. And that's sad for all of us, regardless of what our political affiliation. I was proud. I don't agree with all three candidates all the time. Um, but I was proud of the fact that they all took a more positive approach uh, and really talked about substantive issues that matter. And that's that's very important in this country right now in some scary times. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining My us. Pleasure. Good to see you. Thank you.